Hello everybody, my name is Cade Olaf with Suburban Real Estate Group and welcome back to our Suburban Spotlight. In this month's Spotlight, we have the privilege of interviewing Teresa Kleckler and Paul Tranter with Arizona Ivy Medics. So guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Thank it's you. good to be here. Yeah, absolutely. So Teresa, for our first question, what is Arizona Ivy Medics for anyone that doesn't know? So Arizona Ivy Medics is a mobile IV company. Um, we actually go to people's businesses, homes, offices, hotel rooms. I've done them in the casino parking lot. Um, <laughs> just to help people with their infusion needs. With that, we offer several different infusions and we treat various um, ailments. So we're able to you know, help people stay at home. So it's not specific just to medical needs, right? Right, I mean, it, a lot of people will do this for just an immunity boost or um, improvement for their athletic performance. Some people will call us because they have a migraine or a stomach oh, wow. flu. Yeah. So, and we, and we do treat a variety of ages. Of course, with children, you know, the child has to be willing to consent to the IV, mm -hmm. but we have protocols and providers that oversee us as we're doing those types of treatments. So actually, I was sick a couple weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> and I got your information from my girlfriend's family and so you came to my house and hooked me up with an IV and I was set like the next day. I was feeling so good. So it's such a cool business. I mean, truly, instead of having to go to the hospital or deal with anything like that, you guys just come straight to the home. Really cool that we're able to help people like that um, in their home. Stay, stay comfortable, because it's never fun to go to the ER when you're super under the weather, sitting right. in a waiting room for hours on end, not knowing when you'll get in to see someone. So this way we can just come to you. We can usually meet your needs. Um, and feeling better. Nice. And I imagine during COVID it was fairly popular or how did people kind of feel about that? Yeah, um, it was actually really good because a lot of people were fearful of going to the hospital because they were afraid they would be exposed to COVID or right. um, contract the illness. So people, when they would have these issues, would give us a call. And a lot of times we could take care of, of their, their medical needs. Nice. Um, you know, and we have, like I said, the provider, the healthcare providers that help us um, through our direct care telehealth service as well. So if they, if we got on scene with somebody and you know they were looking like they might need a prescription, we were able to reach out to our direct care telehealth and uh, work with them to get what they need. So Teresa, how do you guys go about marketing your business? So we're all hired by Arizona IV Medics as independent contractors. Um, so we all have our own little niche, so to speak, you know, yeah. with our social medias and whatnot. But the main company itself has a website. It has, uh, it, it's very active on all major social media platforms. Um, they have billboards, especially around the Phoenix area. Nice. They have a lot um, of promotions through like news agencies. And I know that a lot of times people will do events like um, going to like a tournament or a garden show and setting up a booth to kind of promote Nice. Um, what we're doing. You know, another way that word of mouth actually has been um, helpful in, in marketing our business is people like Joe Rogan. He talks oh, wow. a lot about how he uses the NAD, the vitamin infusions for just overall wellness. Um, I know when he had his issues with COVID, he used the vitamin infusions yeah. and the NAD and it really did help. Wow. Um, and it, in addition to other things, but, um, and then uh, John Jane Rich, actually, wow. they um, they promoted us and they actually do the commercial for our company. Oh, super cool, super yeah. cool. So it's, yeah, it's getting more popular oh, yeah, every definitely. day. definitely. Cool. So Paul, what is your favorite part about owning this type of business? Uh, my favorite part about owning this type of business is uh, just the fact I get to help people, you know? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, like Trace touched on, don't want to go to the hospital. You know, the hospitals are packed, they're understaffed. <laughs> uh, especially like the elderly communities around Green Valley, that's right down the street. Um, they want a more personalized touch in healthcare and uh, we could provide that. You know, it's nice we actually get to sit around with them. We don't have to run to another patient's room or something like that. We just right. sit and talk with them, you know, kind of make them feel comfortable about the whole uh, situation and uh, just learn about people and meet people. That is awesome. I imagine you guys have met some pretty cool people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You definitely just make connections with different people that can help you out and your own life and you know you help them out so yeah all around it's a good experience that is awesome what's the craziest story you have of like going into someone's home that that's appropriate <laughs> <laughs> one of the more kind of random things that has happened while i'm running this type of business is uh just meeting people who know my family and my wife's family from mm. all over the world so oh wow uh, my wife is from nogales arizona but she has family in hermosillo and uh just doing ivs around people around town 
they yeah. don't know each other or wow. she or they know my wife's cousin so yeah. it's pretty cool how you know it's a small region that we do work in and you just uh, make connections and friends that way yeah so paul how do you see your business growing locally here in the next five years so for the next five years i think uh one of the more exciting things is uh the business is just growing you know it's getting yeah. more and more popular we're expanding into different states uh, and I think that telehealth is really going to change the game coming up here because when you could just FaceTime a doctor rather than having to go see your doctor and set an appointment, right. it's, you know, two weeks out, you could just do a telehealth visit and give uh, the prescriptions you need and uh, the care that you need. So I think that's going to be really exciting in the next five years, not only with IV medics, but just the medical field in general. Yeah. I think it's going to blow up to do a more personalized, um, approach well and before we started the interview i know you guys were mentioning it's kind of happening in different states right so it's not just here locally that we're seeing it kind of grow but i mean phoenix has seen exponential growth and i think i mean as far as i know you're the only two people that do it as far as i know down here so yeah it's really cool to see how much it's growing and do you guys think there's going to be a competition aspect to that or do you think it's more so a, a very niche group uh yeah there's definitely a competition in the industry but in my opinion i've heard the best things about our company only you yeah know? so um i think the other companies are a little bit more expensive too you know i can't really speak to that uh Definitely, but yeah. I just know that Arizona Ivy Medics, the team that we have, we all come together and just try to get the most patients that we can seen in the quickest time, you know, yeah. and uh, in the most caring way. So, well, yeah. that is so awesome. I, I love this business, and I I can honestly say on camera I've actually used them. <laughs> so yeah, it's been it's been a great experience. So Paul, for everyone watching who wants to learn more about you guys, where can they find out more about you? We are at Arizona Ivy Medics across all platforms, uh, and that's our website as well. So you can reach us there and book an appointment. Uh, you can either call or text our main line, which is 623-521-5034. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And you guys have a great business. So thank you for helping our communities and keeping us healthy. It's super great. For having us. Absolutely. For everyone watching, that's going to do it for this month's Spotlight. Again, my name is Cade Olaf, and we will see you in the next one.